With its rich heritage and fascinating museums, there's nowhere more sophisticated than Paris. But tonight, we're not going there. This is no ordinary travel show, but the world's weirdest day trip. We've packed a suitcase with 10,000 pounds in euros and sent two plucky people to spend it. You feel like we're about to get ambushed? It's a lot of fox shit, isn't it? <laughs> Comedian Joe Wilkinson and Countdown presenter Rachel Riley are taking up this uniquely twisted challenge. It's a nice case. Spend £10,000 in Greece, the birthplace of civilization, in just 24 hours. Oh, oh, yes. oh, oh got it! Wait, wait, wait. Oh, get the 50! Come on, Joe! Got it. Got it. These good friends could have the time of their lives with all this cash if it wasn't for our strict spending rules. You may hire anyone or anything you need, but you must not pay them more than the reasonable going rate. The money right. should be sent on experiences and cannot be given away. Oh, yeah. Any spend that goes against the spirit of the challenge may be vetoed. That's bullshit. And have an, um, Bit of a uh, <laughs> conundrum, but we've not left them entirely on their own. The following three people uh, may be able to help you spend the money. Spiros is one of them. Spiros! Are you any good at piggybacks? I am. Um, I might just stay here. Start a fire. Thanks to that caseload of cash, their next 24 hours should pack in experiences you simply won't find in the guidebooks. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, yeah, yeah. She loves me! She ran away! Rachel and Joe have flown more than 1,600 miles to the northern Greek seaside resort of Thessaloniki in the midst of the off-season. 24 hours of spending starts now, possibly. Can we try and plug him down and get a lift? I think it might be better if you try. All right. Okay. I don't have your hips. I'll okay. keep it. Oh, I'll do it. There we go. That's how you stop him, mate. <laughs> Actually, Hi. let's let's keep him going. Let's keep moving. Hi, Lovely to see you. Uh, hello. Do you speak no. any English? Yeah. Drummo. Drummo. Do you think? Can we can we get sure. a okay. little? A bit too keen, so if you ask me. Is that okay? Maybe. Really too keen. Take really, us really town too keen. Like... Oh, thank. He's not taking us to right. town. He's taking to his house. Save as well. We're thank about you. to meet his brothers. All right. Uh, this is going to be all. I'm in. I'm in. I might just see you there. <laughs> Don't want to be in his van. I don't want to be in your van. No, oh, he's going to do something very bad. I mean, not What's to it? you, he's doing it to me. That's their first spend. Um, I'll pay you £50,000 to stop. Thessaloniki. With a population of 800,000, it's Greece's second city. Named after a mermaid, home to Aristotle and Alexander the Great. Famed for its festivals and spectacular wildlife. But there's no time for sightseeing. Rachel and Joe have got to get their thinking caps on. My initial thought was to put it in an icer. <laughs> that would be exhilarating. I actually made a list of a few other things oh, yeah. we could do. Um, learn to throw a pot. Learn to throw a pot? A Greek pot. Keep bees <laughs> and hire a hitman. If you had to spend £10,000 in 24 hours, what would you do? I would visit London. Visit London, <laughs> visit London. That's not a bad idea. Can we hire you to just like sit for, with us for like five minutes and tell us, yeah? Perfect. And then we will onboard you for the mayor of the city. You can run for mayor. It's run for all mayor, run for mayor. If I'll pop it down, them, I'll right? pop it down. With Greece £282 billion in debt, politicians are as popular here as rabies. A comedian in a raincoat offers an obvious improvement. Would you trust this man with... Yes, yeah. absolutely. ..and things that bad? You're, you're obviously a, a good judge of character. <laughs> Is this how Greece got in this mess? <laughs> <laughs> We're trusting... <laughs> I'll tell you what, that's not, a, that's not a bad start. But you can't stand for mayor on an empty stomach. 
The most expensive main course is 11 euros 50. So Rachel orders enough to feed a minotaur. Thank you. I'm sure they give us a doggy back. Oh, there's more. What have you done? Let's hope it's a hungry dog with a big family. This is insane. Thank you. You are not leaving this table till this is eaten. The Mediterranean diet is famously healthy, unless your meal is the size of a table. What is that? Cheese. Oh. It's on the house. No, no. No, it's we, a very no, no, no. It's, it's in, in British That's culture, kind, it's but... um, quite rude, isn't it? To... No, it, we can't. We can't we this can't is a Greek it. tradition. We cannot accept money for it. OK. Because they paid the waitress £51 for her advice, all the food's free. Did nobody warn them about Greeks bearing gifts? That's a cracking start, but thank you. So far, so bad. Better call their first local contact, Alex. Hi, is that Alexandros? Uh, yes, that's me, yes. Hi, it's Rachel and Joe. First of all, welcome to Sarangi, guys. Thank you. Um, can, we, can we meet you and get some advice? Alex directs them to the rear of another taverna. Hello. Hi, are you Alexandros? I'm Alex, yeah, nice Hi, to meet you. Rachel. You might say the final rule was all Greek to Rachel and Joe. <laughs> you might not. But Alexandros is all Greek. Okay, it says that if you by any chance fail, then, then we have a forfeit. So, oh, and okay. it doesn't say what the doesn't say, it doesn't say, but I can show you. So we're going to have a very traditional dish in the Saloniki, which is called patas. And these are three different kinds of stomachs of beef. Oh, no. I even have intestines that they come, the colon anus, and you use it to make, you know, a great soup. Did he just say colon anus? That's the belly. Good grief. Right. Well, um... This is a leg. Uh, let's get to it. <laughs> I'm going to play to win now. I think, yeah, absolutely. So, if they fail to spend the money, Rachel and Joe will be gobbling colon anus soup with bullock trotters. Well, you were around for the next 24 I hours. I am, I am, Can yeah. Can you please Definitely. be our translator? Yeah, of course, how, of course. How, how much is uh, reasonable? 200 euros? 200 euros? 200 looks good, yeah. I'll deal with that. For a day? Is it a deal? It's a deal. And they're off. Headed for the city centre, in a cab. Let's hope Alex's driver can multitask. What do you do? Can we pay you for anything? I can eat you? very good. I can eat. You can, you can eat. eat? Yes, I'm very good at it. How much do you reckon you can eat in 45 minutes? <laughs> How many euros in 45 <laughs> Shame he wasn't in the cafe. Not that they paid for the food there. Are you only good yes. at fortune telling? For, yes, I'm very good at fortune telling. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're nice, aren't they? Very nice hand. Nice hand yeah. Very nice hand. Very nice hand. Yeah, cheers. Very nice hand. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> well. Yes, to win the euros. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you've made yourself 20 euros. That's the big deal. I just worked out how to get a whole lot. <laughs> I think it's too hot in here. Yeah. <laughs> I have no idea what just happened there. Fortunately, Rachel gets them back on track. Oh, that's a photo taken in a tractor. Fortune telling is 60. coming to you. Kalimera. Γεια σας, τι κάνετε; Αλέξα, μας χαρακά πολύ. Άμα σας δώσω 60 ευρώ τώρα, μπορείτε να τους βάλετε αυτούς να κάθεσουν πίσω και να κάνετε μια βολετό τράγωνο. The 60 euros. Thank you, sir. Yeah. On the back. Hello. Yeah, I mean, Rach, can I give you a lift? Yes, please. Thank you, thank you. Awesome. You got it? Never been on a tractor. One, two, three. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. I had a tractor. <laughs> 51 quid on a tractor ride takes their total spending to a pathetic £393. I'm sure it's leaking petrol. With 21 hours and £9,607 remaining, you don't have to be a mathematician to work out Rachel and Joe are fast booking a hot date with a bowl of colon anus soup. Next, Joe gets raunchy, Rachel throws all her cabbages out of the pram, oh. and they both stand for mayor. Fight for us! Thanks.
Countdown presenter Rachel Riley and comedian Joe Wilkinson are on a 24-hour adventure, racing to put £10,000 into the Greek economy by having unusual experiences. They have three local contacts to help, and they've hired their first one, Alex, as their translator. With 21 hours left and a colossal £9,607 still to spend, the waitress's advice is starting to strike a chord. And then we will all vote you for the mayor of the city. You can run for mayor. It's run for mayor. Crazy. Run for mayor. Uh, well, there was one thing we were thinking, wasn't there? Yeah. But I don't know how practical it is. We'd like to run for mayor. Hmm. That's a crazy idea. It's the home of democracy, Greece, isn't it? So we thought the only way we could, we think, we'd be able to help mm. is by running, well, joint, joint mayor. Joint we'll look, mayor? Yeah, joint mayor. Mayor and mayoress. Mayor and mayoress. Um, and, government. Yeah, exactly, because it's worked so well at home. We need a big push, so would you consider being our campaign manager? Well, I could try. Well, we need a photo shoot, won't we, at some point? Well, we're going to have to, we're going to need advertising, uh, we're going to need yeah. posters. Billboard. What would you change in the town? Uh, I'd have more news. festivals. <laughs> that might be the basis of the campaign. More, veg more, more vegetables. More vegetables. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, maybe well, more. More veggie festivals. That's what you're going to do. Yeah, more, more veg and more festivals, maybe. So, Joe and Rachel will be standing jointly for mayor, and their entire campaign is to be based on Rachel mispronouncing the word festival as vegetable. One, two, three, guys. Time for a photo opportunity. That's a political pea and a festive tomato. And in less than half an hour, Alex is back from the printers. Ta-da! That <laughs> is perfect. Yes, perfect. Yeah. It's just us as vegetables and yeah. it's got a slogan. So they're going to go over, all over the city. All over the city. Had they really thought this through? Well, obviously not. But the last mayor of Thessaloniki, an Olympic sprinter called Vasilis, was sentenced to life imprisonment for running off with 15 million pounds. At least our two big spenders don't want to make a profit. Today is Thessaloniki's carnival, Fat Thursday. A time for odd costumes and the last chance to eat meat before Lent. Maybe their second local contact can offer more spending opportunities to get their teeth into. You speak, I'm not very good. I don't speak Greek. Okay. Hi, is that Vicky? Hi. Hi, Hello. it's Rachel and Joe. Hello. We're a bit, we've run out of ideas of uh, Yeah? And we were wondering if we could uh, meet you and... Uh, Are you free now? I, I have a class exactly uh, now. You have a class? Oh, all right, thank we'll you. Um, we're thank you. So we're waiting for you in 20 minutes, OK? OK. OK, lovely. Thank you. Okay. Cheers. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Class. Pottery, I guess. <laughs> Vicky and her pupils are already in their Fat Thursday carnival costumes. Come inside, please. Uh, <laughs> you can do it, it's very easy. Yes. Joe and his raincoat remain inseparable. Good dress. Can we go outside? Oh, okay. Okay. Great. Thank you. What do you think? That was so much fun. Can you move to England? We've decided to run for mayor. Yeah. A joint yeah. mayor and mayoress of... Yeah, we're going to try and uh, take over the town as yeah, mayor and okay. mayoress, so... So is there anything you can yes. do? Yes, flash mob. Do you know what it is? No. No? Uh, when everyone know? kind of gets together? Yes. One starts dancing and after two, three... Oh, so you can ten, dance as well. 20, maybe? <laughs> would, you, would they be prepared, prepared to dance holding broccoli? Broccoli? Broccoli wow. or we cauliflower. Can, I mean, we can get hold of the vegetables. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll, 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 we'll sort out. Yeah, but they wouldn't mind holding. Can you oh. hold it while you're dancing? It's yeah, like a little maracas. bit difficult, but we oh, can really? try, I think. Try. Maybe dress like ancient Greek and Perfect. hold. Oh, I'd love that. Holding, mm -hmm. holding veg dressed as Greek gods. Dancing. Yes. Nailed we can, it. We can do it. 
So, obviously, the next logical step in their mayoral campaign is to buy some vegetables for the Greek god Flash Mob to dance with. What's the most expensive vegetable? Uh, ginger. Ginger? Uh, Whoa. What else is expensive? No, I quite like the whole colours and the array and everything. And we're going to have you dancing with stuff, we're going to need props, we're going to need stuff to hand out for people. Are well, you saying everything? So how much for just everything? <laughs> About uh, one and a half thousand. Oh dear, that's 300 euros over their single item spending limit. What could you give us for 1,200? Could we get all of this side? Yes. For 1,200? Yes. Is that... Can we do a deal? Yeah, Brilliant. Awesome. Oh, thank you. Sprouts. Catch. Jesus. Cabbage. Right. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. We owe you more money. Result. 1,200. And I think the light is probably extra. Yeah, we owe you for the light. For the light. 60. For the light. Sorry about that. Bye, thank you. They've now lumbered themselves with several hundred vegetables and they'll have to make use of every last sprout. Hey, Vicky. The first of nine barrow loads goes to Vicky's Greek god flash mob. It's all dirty to me. <laughs> it's all dirty to me. The uh, plan is to have the Greek gods endorse vegetables with a festive dance, promoting the campaign slogan, more vegetables, more festivals. I think it's working. The crowd is gathering. Euros each. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. While the rest of the Greek gods give out promotional vegetables, Vicky tells them about her potentially useful friend. She's a radio producer. Here, oh, really? Here in radio, radio. Radio, 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 oh, radio oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Of course. Maria. Hello. Oh. Maria works in pirate radio. <laughs> Could we pay you to come on your show and promote our? Uh, Ridiculous. It's a fantastic idea, I guess. Oh, yeah. uh, we, can, uh, yeah? we can let people know what about it. Yeah, 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 but we'll pay you. Yeah. We'll pay you. Perfect. Okay. Oh, great. It's a very beautiful day for us here to have you. Thank you for having me. How did you come up with the idea of becoming the mayor of Thessaloniki? You might have to answer that one. Um, well, it was we we went to a local taverna and we ordered some food and we got we've just been chatting to the locals and we love it here so much. Mm -hmm. um, and she just liked the look of you, really, didn't she? Jo? Yeah, she suggested that I run as mayor, but then I wasn't confident enough to do it on my own, was I? So, well, we're kind of so going we're for doing, joint mayor joint, and mayorship. Joint mayor and mayor. Please tell us if you get to be elected by the civilians, are you ready to leave your country behind and stay here for the next four years? Yes. Absolutely, Definitely. yeah. I think you're the next mayor. And Thank you. it's an uh, honour for us. Thank you Support very, very much. Thank you. Thank, Th you. Thank you for having us. Thanks very much. Vote Rachel and Joe. Just see that in at the end. Arranging an interview on Thessaloniki's pirate radio station cost a timber shivering £293, bringing their total spend to a respectable 3350 quid. Sadly, Rachel and Joe have still got eight barrow loads of vegetables to collect and use. They can't own anything when the 24 hours are up. Not a sausage. Not even a cabbage. I mean, we could, we could try and get some uh, stock, wait. store like, you know, like the things you put your head through and pay... Oh, stocks? Like, get people to... We could pay people to throw stuff at us. But we've got things like cabbages. Yeah, they're rock solid, though. They're fresh. <laughs> Not, Not really. So they're soft. Um, hang on, I'm just going to... Let's just have a Google. That's on the key vegetables. There's apparently the world's champion of cocktail making actually lives here. Is he? Well then. We could yeah, but we've we could got take veg. Some... We've got well, veg. Yeah, well, if he's world champion, he must be able to make something for us. For the campaign, After. the festival later, we can maybe shift it. Get people to drink it. Yep. Pay them to drink it. I think we've got an idea. It's better than stocks. <laughs> Hello. Is this your puppy? Yes. This is the most gorgeous puppy in the it's, world. It's Labrador. Hello. How old is it? Uh, about three, three months old. So cute. 
And more importantly, does he eat vegetables? Nom, nom, nom. Shall I pick them up to the bar? Yeah, it's a game. Yeah. Google you. Then. And you are world champion cocktail maker, is that true? Yes. In 2009, Tellis won his world bartender title at a three-day mixology contest in London. These are some of the only trophies in Greece not to have been melted down. We were wondering if you could come up with some cocktails so, involving some vegetables. No problem. Oh, that great. would well, be brilliant. No well, you got, actually, um, actually, I can do it for you for free. No, no, no. No, no, you're world champion. We, we, no, need, no, to no, no, we champion. need to pay you. We need to pay you. Broccoli. Oh, is that A bit rum? of sugar. Oh, sugar. The sugar. The good stuff is tequila. It's going to be quite strong. Yes. Oh, yes, baby. Oh, nice little rim machine. That's a hell of a colour. Naughty spinach. OK, OK. This is the, the ultimate test. Oh, wow. Ah. Oh. oh, that's amazing. Thank you very much. Oh, my God, that's really nice. <laughs> <laughs> that's Sorry to say I'm surprised. I've, I've tried a lot of cocktails and I've never tried anything like that. That's amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Creating the cocktail costs £242. It takes two hours to convert the remaining seven wheelbarrows of veg into cocktails and costs £733. And that's more numbers than you get on Countdown. While Tellis liquidises an entire vegetable stall, Rachel and Joe pay to promote their mayoral campaign on local television. We want to add another festival all about veg. Τέλεια. Θέλω να προσθέσουμε μαζί με το κρέας και λαχανικά. Ευχαριστώ πάρα πολύ. Thank you for Oh, thank you very much. And thanks the whole town. Yeah, both. Both. I don't know what that means. Είμαστε τα Θεσσαλονίκη, Τελικατέσεν, BBC και γεια σας. Next, their mayoral campaign gets serious. Onions. And everyone else gets silly. <laughs> Countdown queen Rachel Riley and comedian Joe Wilkinson are in Greece. They've been challenged to spend £10,000 in 24 hours under our strict rules. They must have as many offbeat adventures as possible, they can't own anything at the end, and they can spend a maximum of £1,000 per experience. 14 hours remain, nine in total darkness, and they have just over half the money left to spend. They're standing for mayor, and they've asked translator Alexandros to hire the biggest campaign bus he can find in Thessaloniki. That, that's incredible. I think this is pretty much guaranteeing pretty the good. mayorship. The six-ton bus cost 820 pounds, leaving 180 quid for a second campaign vehicle. Check this out. It's a pickup truck. That's it's a really dirty pickup truck. The latest word of technology for yeah. a political campaign. Yeah. I'm more, more worried about the, the broken glass. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> many of the rest of Thessaloniki, Rachel and Joe, more for them. More festivals, more festivals. <laughs> As the campaign gains momentum, dark descends on the off-season city. The centre fills with fat Thursday carnival goers, all potential drinkers of Rachel and Joe's liquidised vegetable store. Cheers. Cheers, Alex. You Cheers, don't guys. drink, do you? Thank you you don't much. drink. Oh, I'm OK. I'm oh, wow. Sure. Yeah. What's it like the second time? It's, it's nice. something-y. It's different. You can really taste the leek. Yeah, the leaks come through, isn't it? It really does. I can't feel the right side of my face. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> we need to get rid of this now. <laughs> we need to get yeah. people well, on the bus to yeah, spread on... the word. Guys, I'm afraid I have some bad news. I spoke with the driver whether we can go. This is a big festival for the Saloniki. There are a lot of people going out. It's really impossible for a bus that big to enter and go inside. Oh. Where can I we mean, go? There's we people. We need to just... We just, just we need a place where there's people, basically. And park up and just brown people up. Thank you.
Um, Do, um, yeah. The nearest car park to the carnival isn't exactly rammed. I, I don't think anyone's coming. Yeah, I think the bus might have been a bad idea. Their other campaign vehicle is allowed into the carnival, if it doesn't break down on the way. Rachel, Jomo, patate, sakurja, lemonia! We're gonna have more festivals and we're gonna eat more vegetables. Cucumbers, onions. All right, mate, that'll do. Thanks. Yeah, that'll do. Ditching their campaign looks like a shrewd move, especially as the current mayor, Yanis Boutaris, a recovering alcoholic and professional winemaker, isn't up for re-election for another two years. OK, so Rachel and Joe aren't politicians, but that doesn't mean they can't take advantage of the locals. Can the city's carnival goers be persuaded to drink all seven litres of the liquidised vegetable stall? I mean, it's pretty disgusting. Maybe we oh. could make people taste it and guess what's in it. Yeah. I don't trust it. No, it's not bad, honestly. <laughs> I'll put it in there. It's awful. It's awful, yeah. <laughs> yeah but... We'll give you 10 euros per ingredient. Yeah, yes. <laughs> Broccoli, no. yeah. Broccoli. <laughs> Near <laughs> enough. Can I the tomato? No, no. tomato. No. Vinegar? No vinegar, but vinegar. it tastes like it. <laughs> Another 10 euros if you drink it now. Oh, I'm oh. Yeah, there. <laughs> Paying people to guess the ingredients of the off-colour cocktail takes care of £402. The freestyling's kind of working. Yeah, the less we plan... There's enough going on in this It feels like place. the less we plan, the better we do. Yeah, absolutely. Should we plan less? Should we... we just see what happens? I like it. Do you speak English? Yeah, I do. Would you be able to hold our suitcase for a photo for, course, yeah. for 20 euros? Sure, 20 yeah. Euros. Ready? Do you want me to smile? <laughs> oh, you can do what you like. 20. No? no? 20. Thank you. Thank you. Will you have a photo taken with me if we pay you 20 euros? What? Joe and Rachel pay 58 revellers to pose with the case, providing an amazing set of holiday snaps in one mad dash. This is fun! <laughs> Excuse me! <laughs> she loves me! She ran away! It's 2 a.m. And the carnival's still buzzing. Alas, Rachel and Joe are not. I'm... I'm really tired. Oh, yeah? Oh, all right. <laughs> uh, um, do have to do any can we more, please do go we? to bed? Yeah. Not together, obviously. Obviously. <laughs> this one looks expensive. Yeah. The carnival coincides with a gynaecology conference, putting hotel rooms in short supply. We were just wondering if you have any spare rooms at all. OK, due to the conference, we've got just two last rooms available. OK. OK, great. Would you like to have a look? Yes. Um, Off to you. All the rooms in the Andromeda Hotel have novelty yeah. themes. Whoa! Oh, my word. OK, Joe, this is, <laughs> this is mine. <laughs> Rachel gets a spa-themed room. <gasps> There's a sauna! Why has he got a... Oh, it's wet. Oh! It's a wet room. <laughs> well, the last person had a widow. <laughs> OK. And for Joe. <laughs> Joe, you love dancing. Oh, a room that celebrates pole dancing. Hold on, that's going to have to come down. One of Thessaloniki's most popular competitive sports, enjoyed equally by men and women. <laughs> It's got oh, a God. round bed with a massive mirror. Wow. It's not good at all. I'll be honest with you, I might sleep in the alleyway. Oh, it's solid. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> Things to do.